Good evening and welcome. My name is Reverend Dale Brown and I'm here as a part of the Community Church at Ocean Pines and as a part of the church's prayer team to encourage you to walk the labyrinth the week before or the week after World Labyrinth Day. World Labyrinth Day is May 1st and obviously we encourage you to walk it safely with physical distancing and all of your COVID precautions, wearing a mask, but we do invite you to prayerfully and thoughtfully walk our labyrinth here located adjacent to our cemetery. I'd like to tell you my labyrinth story. For many, many years, I had wanted to walk a labyrinth. I just didn't have the opportunity or the occasion, but I had really wanted to do it. So Zachary, my son, and I took a Tuesday evening course at the National Cathedral. Zachary made an art object as an expression of his prayer. I walked the labyrinth. And in walking the labyrinth, I was determined to get it right, to walk it the right way, to successfully walk in and walk out, and to just sort of say, okay, I've checked that off my list, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So I started walking the labyrinth, and they're to you're told to walk slowly, prayerfully, thoughtfully. And I walked, and I walked, and I noticed that I wasn't getting any closer to the center. So I thought maybe I should start over again. Maybe I had done it wrong. Maybe I had erred in my walking prayer. But I thought, no, I'll keep going and see if I can find a way to make it right. And I used all of my own efforts and all of my own wisdom and all of my own power I never got to the center. I never reached my destination. And, and, and I'm a fairly introspective person. And, and I thought about this, and I prayed about this, and I journaled about this, and what I concluded was that maybe the destination isn't what's most important. And maybe walking it to get it right, to do it properly, wasn't the most important for me. You see, I was at a time in life when things were changing. I had some new opportunities. I was trying to figure out where God wanted me to be and do and all that kind of stuff. And what I learned by walking the labyrinth is this, that... Just walking, putting one foot in front of the other, and trusting the destination and the path to God is what is really crucial. I've tried to walk the labyrinth since. I've never gotten to the center. And I used to think of that as a failure. But now I really kind of think about it as a metaphor for life, that wherever my journey takes me, sometimes places of my own choosing, and sometimes places where God places me, and maybe even sometimes places where I just happen to end up, it's okay. And if I never reach the center, it's okay. Because wherever I am, God is there. And I am there also. So I encourage you to take the time to slowly, prayerfully, thoughtfully walk the labyrinth. Whether it's the week before or the week after or on May 1st, National World Labyrinth Day, um, the labyrinth is always here. And it's always good to pray. And so that labyrinth is yours as a gift, whatever time and space you have. 
May God bless you as you walk the labyrinth and in every other way that you walk as well. Amen.